job, Cash. What is up, everybody? We are down here at Formula Drift. And uh, today, we're gonna be walking around the pits. We're gonna be watching some driving. We're gonna talk to some drivers. I'm gonna be checking out some cars. If that's something you're into, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and uh, hang out. We're gonna have a good time. So we got in a bit before it opened, um, just because we had a, a car at a booth. Uh, when I got here, there was like a very short line. Look at this. The line goes all the way there, all the way, and it wraps around and goes into that building right there. So super sick. I uh, I don't personally like drift. But it's shocking to me that it's not a much bigger sport because once you've seen it live, you're like, this is this is probably the most fun. It is so fun. Make it out to a Formula Drift event. Okay, so if you haven't been watching FD, Adam is in the top 16. He did such a good, such a good run. Um, his lead run was insane. It was like perfect. Um, and it was really cool. Uh, we were sitting there with Fetty and randomly Chelsea Denopa was there. And it was, Chelsea's so smart. Listening to him break down LZ's runs and other people's runs, just sitting there listening to him talk was crazy um top 16 just started so the pits are completely empty so i thought right now would be a perfect time to come out and just kind of walk through and uh show you guys what it's like at formula drift so the pits are open you can just come and walk through um a lot of times you'll see the drivers just sitting in their pits um some drivers the they're good to talk. Some drivers, you know, they, they've got to get in their zone. So it's just kind of unique depending on the driver, but um, it's, it's a lot of fun to be out here. Something else that really cracks me up is they give away for free all of the, um, all the tires that were used in the runs and it costs money to dispose of tires so it's so funny that they're just giving these tires to people and uh you know they go home and i know that they're probably saying they're gonna make a they're gonna make like a table with it it's no shot that table's ever getting made one day their dad's just gonna be like throw that freaking tire away but nitto will be up right here you can come and watch It's really cool how big Formula Drift has gotten. Oh, here we go. If you have never been to a Formula D event, you're blowing it big time. It's so cool.
James Dean is a bad, bad man. He's probably, he's probably favorited to win this event today. He is crushing. It's insane how good he's driving. Did you know that one day, one day you're gonna be on camera? Now you got me. I'm gonna tip this over. We're gonna hit. We're gonna hit the Rambler. What about your tandems here? Yeah. You use your knees. Use your knees. Got a sliver and a foot. You guys didn't know that not only is Federico a great Formula Drift driver, he's a surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> just pulling a sliver. Mark's kid was like, I don't, my God, something's poking my foot. And so we looked and he had a little sliver in there, so. Did you come back from uh, not being able to see because of all the umbrellas? Yep, yep. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. I'm tall, so I see over stuff, but. <laughs> I stand on a chair and I still can't see yeah, anything. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's crazy, like. It's a bummer, but there's no other way to do it, I guess. Exactly, yeah. Coming down to Irwindale, your winner here at round seven of the Formula Drift Pro Championship, Type S, elevated, and the driver that elevated and gets the win is unanimously, Odie Boxy gets the win! And Frederick, the Norwegian Hammer Osmo, Yo, I don't think I wrapped the video up. The end of the day was a blur. Um, we hung out with Chelsea Denofa and, and Federico like for like hours. It was really crazy watching, watching drifting with dudes that are the best drifters in the world listening to them break down runs was mind-blowing like the picture right here is us watching drifting from the pits at formula drift on my brother's phone like how cool is that um but anyways we're headed to dinner with um or i'm headed to dinner with adam lz and all of his crew um if we go get into anything i'm gonna film it so maybe there'll be part two of this video um 
If not, I'm just going to hang out with some friends, not try to film anything, but um, I can't put into words how fortunate I feel. Um, follow your dreams, guys. I started watching Adam LZ's videos in 2020, maybe, no, probably 2019. He did his like rear wheel drive R33 build and I bought an R33 and we were building it and I was watching it for inspiration and then I kind of just like got going watching his channel and you know, here we are four years later and I'm going to dinner with him and I shot a TV show with him and follow your dreams guys take advantage of the opportunities that are ahead of you because if you take advantage of those opportunities you never know what the next opportunity will be um, anyways have a good night stay up